exactly one year ago i did a video which you might have seen it this one which is a closure for 2022 the best of the best from andy odowok and i declared that this particular iem bequest winter here as my number one and one year from that point onwards i have with me here the next evolution of the same technology of bequest winter and this is bequest win all right so let's just have a look at the price the configuration and the build of this bequest win as you can see here listed on this uh, bequest official store in aliexpress this bequest win is priced at us dollar 215 pretty much similar to bequest winter when it was released and with that price what you're going to get is of course the iem itself as you can see here and looking at the iem itself it is entirely constructed of cnc aluminum with this open cavity open back design yes and what you're going to find inside is a setup of dual hybrid driver one of them being dynamic driver and one of them being bone conduction again similar to bequest winter and the impedance rating for this uh, bequest win is rated rather high i would say at 38 ohm with a sensitivity of 113 db and the cable itself again pretty much similar to bequest win as well uh, winter this is a single crystal copper with spc and the unit that came with for my model is 4.4 uh, mm balance here okay so let me just uh, touch a bit on the tips selection included with this uh, bequest win as you can see here you will be given three type of silicon tips namely atmosphere ear tips reference ear tips and balance ear tips but the funny thing is that not, not one of them i have used it because i always prefer foam tips and the good thing is that this bequest win came with two a pair of foam tips which you see here and i have been using it since day one okay so the entirety of my review will be based on this combination of bequest win with this foam tips so let's just start at the power requirement itself driving this bequest win again as mentioned earlier this bequest win runs at 38 ohm which is pretty much very high for an iem especially considering this is a hybrid because normally you would see that hybrid comes as low as 18 16 or even 5 ohm okay and let me just put it this way when i first received this bequest win and attached this to my phone here which is xiaomi mi 90 directly to the 3.5 mm uh, single ended port using an adapter because mine is 4.4 mm i needed a volume at around at least 80 percent right out of 100 in order to get a loudness level which i would consider as a normal listening level but the good thing is that once that loudness level was achieved all right despite not having so much headroom left to use the sound itself is something which i would consider as very usable engaging and in fact suitable for casual listening but if you are serious about this bequest win then definitely you like to scale it up pretty much similar to magnetic planar so for example i use bequest win a lot with this fio btr 15 here which i acquired recently i love this one uh, so very much spend so much time between these two using ldec maximum and i must say that it does scale really well with power especially when i push at 4.4 brms 340 milliwatt of power from this uh, btr 15 running on high gain the sort of headroom that i'm getting is a lot okay and then of course the sound authority itself the way it presents the dynamics is like a lot firmer than how it was heard by using this uh, phone directly when i scale it further with even better sources like this hebe fc6 here despite not as powerful as this btr 15 but this one sounded a bit a lot more richer as compared to this btr 15 and the best result i got it from this super powerful sony pcm d100 if you look at the graph from bequest as you can see here it is pretty much something that i would consider as being a traditional v sound curve but i would even say that it is more towards like mid-centric kind of v sound curve 
So I will explain a bit more on that when we touch on mid-range itself, why I mention it as mid-centric V sound curve. When I compare this Bequest Win directly with Winter, which I am so very familiar with, this is one of my favorites still, okay, I must say that there's a sense of maturity to the sound timber itself. It is more organic, in fact, when compared directly to Bequest Winter itself, because this is a bit more brighter in a way that, you know, this is less bright and by that reckoning, it is also more organic sounding. But there's maturity to the tuning itself, both of them, okay? And then let's talk about the resolution itself. At this price point, you would definitely expect for this kind of IEM, especially this with this exotic technology, one of the key things is that this Bequest Win, pretty much similar to what I have already heard from Bequest Winter, is very analytical. It resolves the details, macro and micro details, really well. And it handles with a lot of speed and agility to resolve even very complex composition of the song. When it comes to sound energy, the way it presents the sound itself, Bequest Win is something which I would classify as being mature sounding energetic, vibrant, but never offensive. Like I mentioned earlier, I would already regard this Bequest Winter as slightly brighter sounding as compared to this Bequest Win because the way it presents the treble is something which I would classify as being moderate. Moderate as a way of saying is that, you know, it seems to be not as energetic with the treble itself in a way that, you know, it presents the upper mid-range all the way to the treble extension which is the decay state itself but the great thing is that it does not lose the detail all right especially when it comes to treble macro detail and micro detail so i still get that ample amount of energy sparkle and even the sheen and the characteristic which i have already heard from bequest winter but it is definitely far less likely to emit any kind of sibilance because i will just simply say that when I use this Bequest Winter with certain type of music, especially energetic metal or rock music or even some class classical from Vivaldi, right? especially when we talk about string instrument, I sometimes get a bit of hint of sibilance or even pina glare from this uh, Bequest Winter. Not that it is offensive, but since we are being critical here, I'm just saying that it does sound a bit crisper and sharper when it comes to Bequest Winter. But Bequest Win solved that problem. Looking at mid-range, this is perhaps one of the most prominent improvement which I believe this Bequest Win has improved over Bequest Winter. And why? Let's just have a look at the way it presents the mid-range itself. Remember earlier I mentioned this is bone conduction and that bone conduction driver was focused primarily for mid-range all the way to the low frequency. So what I'm trying to say is that, you know, with bone conduction technology, what you're going to get is also a vibration coming out straight from the driver all the way to the housing so that the wearer, the user, can feel the vibration of the sound itself on top of hearing it. So as a result of that, which was already started by Bequest Winter, this Bequest Win offer a bit more of richness and tactile sound to the way it presents the mid-range especially. So what I'm trying to say is that, you know, the sort of sound which I'm getting is that it is transparent, uncolored, yet it does not sound lean at all, okay? And it does not sound offensive while being rich, okay? And for example, when handling different type of male or female vocals, be it soprano, baritone, tenor, alto, or even, you know, all type of mix of vocal in between, I am hearing the sort of presentation which I would consider as being uncolored and neutral, transparent, without any hint of warming or drying or anything like that. So I am hearing as how it was supposed to be. And when we talk about instrument, okay, let's talk about the way it present first, something which I would consider as complex, not easy to present, the violin. Okay, violin, when I listen to something like Vivaldi, I was able to hear the sort of tone and timber and the speed and the agility of the violin being realistic. Okay, it does not sound artificial, it does not sound digital, or it does not sound dry or metallic at all. And pretty much can be said for different type of instrument, especially uh, percussion type. So everything just sounded natural. 
and reach while at it. Now let's talk about lower frequency, the bass itself. How does it perform for this bequest win? Okay, and I will just simply say this is yet another improvement of what was already started with this bequest winter. Okay, first, the balance between mid bass and sub bass is very well defined. All right, I am not hearing any kind of discrepancy between those two elements. Sub bass does not get subdued by mid bass, despite the mid bass appearing strong and punchy. And I think most importantly is that due to the open back design and for the fact that it is also being handled by bone conduction technology the best coming from this bequest wind is rich tactile and punchy okay to the point that you can't you are not just hearing it but you are feeling it especially when i listen to something like you know harper lewis song from uh, russian circle or even uh, mombasa if you know that track electronic uh, track you can literally feel the vibration, the vibrancy of the sound itself. One of the biggest, another biggest improvement of this Bequest Win over winter is the sound stage. This is one of the widest sounding I am, which I have listened to this year. And I will actually compare this later in comparison section, why I am saying it very wide sounding. Just like many other hybrid I am, which utilize different type of driver, for as long as they have coherency between different drivers, you can expect very good spatial imaging from this Bequest Win. It is definitely holographic to a point that I was able to use it for gaming. It was effortless to track different sound source. The layering is clean. The imaging is script and I was able to track even different type of footstep or different sound source like I mentioned, be it up, down, side, bottom, at the back, you name it no problem at all and this is how it looked like we quest win compared against the rest of the competition of IEM which I have tested and reviewed this year so far okay and the list that you are seeing there is obviously not all of them but I try to compile as much as possible within that single page of the ones which I think as being some of the top performer for 2023 okay so I have already talked in much detail regarding this Bequest Win versus Bequest Winter. But if you look at the rating there, the obvious improvement which has been offered, which is being offered by this Bequest Win is of course on that element of note weight and density. I do feel that my ear is telling me that this Bequest Win is richer sounding than Bequest Winter and pretty much only equal by Hedis MP145 so far when it comes to the richness of the sound itself okay and of course another improvement which bequest win has introduced over bequest winter is that on the sound stage and spatial staging i already mentioned earlier this is wider sounding and it is on par with final audio a5000 and hedis mp145 when it comes to the width and the openness of the sound stage itself all in all everything considered when I reflect on this Bequest Win, especially when compared against the predecessor, which is Bequest Winter, and I am which I still love and use regularly, I would just simply say that this Bequest Win, the intention for it was to introduce moderation and maturity to the same sound tuning. Okay, so if you ever find that this Bequest Winter lacking in the terms of richness to the sound itself, or definition to the texture itself or you find it slightly brighter then i would just definitely say that this bequest win is super suitable for you on top of being more open with the sound stage and wider too